Hey there, are you one of those people who has a large phone and wants to use a case for it, yet charge the phone in your Tesla Model X or Model S? Are you one of those people who wished Jeddah made a wireless pad for our Model X and Model S? Why should Model 3 folks have all the fun, I say? Is your name Nash? Well, if you satisfied one of these questions, then this video is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. This is the unboxing review and step-by-step -step installation guide of Tesla's wireless charger made for the Model X and Model S. Now this is not a third-party charger, this is the original OEM Tesla made charger which I believe was offered from the Raven models onwards and now we can retrofit it into our existing cars as well. It retails for 195 Australian dollars in the Aussie Tesla shop. Now let's get to the unboxing. Now I know I'm supposed to be reviewing the charger, but I really love this box. As soon as you open it, you see these words embossed in gloss. Thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now for the charger itself. The production quality of the charger is what you'd expect from an OEM. Quality materials and a solid build. Tesla minimalist as always. The box comes with just the charger and a bracket. Now, the instructions to install this is in the owner's manual and there is an accompanying GIF or GIF clip so that you can follow along. You can either follow that or you can follow my video as I install this in my 2018 Model X. The very fact that this can be retrofit in an older car is a testament to how far ahead Tesla thinks in its timeline. You will see what I mean in just a bit. In my case, I had to remove my existing iPhone charger. First, the two flaps that cover the floor of this cubby hole is removed and then you can see two screws holding the charger in place. Now if you don't have the charger in your car, you will probably have a small bracket which needs to be replaced by the bracket that came in the box of the new wireless charger. Now that the existing iPhone charger has been removed, we can move on to the next step. You see these ridges on the door? There are corresponding grooves on the charger as well. And that is the bracket which came with the new charger and I placed it there. It will help if you slightly lift the door and you can place that bracket in place and then you have to secure it with a screw given. Now those are the ridges I was talking about and there are corresponding grooves on the charger as well. Like so. As I slowly pull forward the door, you can see there are two clips at the depth of the door there. Now there are tabs on the charger which perfectly flit to these clips. See what I mean by this long term thinking. Let me remind you, my Tesla is actually a 2018 model and now I just need to plug this new charger and it will work in my 2018 Tesla. You need to now feed that wire through that hole in the bracket and then feed it back from under the floor onto the floor of the cubby hole, like so. Now you can use those clips and that wire track to secure the cable in place and plug the USB onto one of the USB plugs right there. And you can even close this door without any problems. That's pretty cool, isn't it? In my case, I installed a second USB cable for my Rodi device. I'm sure you've seen the Rodi device elsewhere in the internet. Adam of Testastrea has an awesome video on how to set it up. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as in the top right corner. Despite all its issues, I still like my Rodi and I keep it in my car and it's usually tucked away from sight like so. I don't think USB keys are a good solution for storing these dashcam videos because they inherently fail quite often. I think SD card is a much better solution. Of course, the best solution out there would be having an SSD hard disk to store your dashcam videos. Now let's test the charger. 
Ta-da! As you can see, I have an iPhone 12 with a somewhat hefty case. The phone had a snug fit when I placed it inside. It didn't rock or rattle when I had the phone in place and when I was driving. And there are rubberized side clips which accommodate larger phones as well. Although I didn't check with an iPhone 12 Max, I did check with a similar sized Android phone and the fit was perfect. You can actually place the phone straight or inverted as well. The phone still does charge because it is a Qi charger. I'm sure this will make a lot of folks very happy. I will speak for myself. I was really hoping that either Jeddah or some other third party out there will make something like this for our Model X and Model S. Well, I'm really happy that Tesla chose to do it themselves. It is a quality product and I'll highly recommend it for any of you out there who are looking out for something like this. So that's all folks. Is this something you have been looking for? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. A subscription to the channel will be massively appreciated. And if you are in the lookout for a Model S, 3, X or Y anywhere in the world, don't miss out on those free supercharger credits. If you want to use my code, it is there in the description of this video as well as in the first pinned comment. If you use my code, you are actually helping another Aussie transition to EVs because my supercharger credits are tied to the car that I hire out via ev.com.au and I'm proud to say that a few people have bought a Tesla of their own after test driving my hire car. Until I see you guys in another interesting video very soon, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong, signing off, peace.